there's been so much noise about the court rulings concerning how commissions will be paid for buying and selling real estate. And I want to tell you how I actually see this picture different than the headlines. So there have been a number of settlements in the real estate industry to break the uh, historic price fixing on commissions. If you're not aware, commissions in the United States on real estate transactions are roughly triple what they are anywhere else in the developed world. Typical commissions outside the United States hover around 2% or less on the sale of a home. The United States has remained around 6%. At one time, we were a 7% market. And now, uh, depending on whose database you believe, just under 6%, somewhere upper fives. And the changes that have brought it down from 7 to just under 6 have been because of all the technology that's available, the information that's available at your fingertips as a buyer and as a seller to get a sense of what fair market value is. That information is so available online. And at the same time, our commissions have been much higher and stayed much higher than the rest of the world because of cartel-like pricing in the industry. Well, some of the uh, lawsuit settlements recently have led to story after story saying that commissions in the United States are going to collapse and end up like the rest of the world. And you read these stories, and it's just not how this is going to play. So what you need to know is someone looking to buy or sell a home that what you may have heard reported is not actually what's going to happen. The changes in commissions in the U.S., no doubt are going to happen, but very gradually, because businesses never willingly give up their streams of income. And I'm already reading in trade publications various uh, consultants and people in the industry talking about workarounds where the industry will be able to preserve the 6% commission. So what will happen is this is going to be a gradual process over likely a number of years that the average commission paid on a real estate transaction will decline. Now, I do want to make a key point. Agents who know what they're doing are very valuable to both a buyer and a seller. And they deserve to be paid for what they do. But those commissions that they get paid or fees which are more common in other countries where it's not a flat percent rate it's just a flat fee for various services those fees should be set by the market and eventually we'll get there but in the meantime what you're going to see is you're going to see bleeding edge kind of players offer alternative models about how you pay as a buyer or as a seller. Right now, buyers don't actually directly pay. And one of the things that the industry has lost in suit after suit is where the selling, the listing agent, the person representing the seller, pays the buyer's agent. And that's already baked into the cake. No negotiation, a percent is there. And that's one of the things that will change sooner rather than later is I, as a buyer, will have to decide, am I going to go out in the marketplace by myself without representation for the biggest purchase I ever make in my life and try to negotiate both terms and conditions as well as the price? And the reality is a knowledgeable buyer's agent is so worth whatever fee you end up having to pay him or her because these are complicated transactions.
But the way it should be done and the way it will be done is the way it's done in other countries is you as the buyer will decide, do you want that representation and what's that worth to you? And you'll decide to pay the fee or commission or whatever it is to represent you. If you want to go out on your own, you'll pay obviously no fee for that, but there will be a fee that the seller will pay for representation just like before. But that fee will more likely be two or three percent instead of the automatic usual six percent. So change will happen, but this is not like a light switch, you know, that we were paying six and now we're going to pay two. It's going to be a big era of experimentation, multiple pricing models, and it's going to be one thing of complexity added in that has not existed at this point, but ultimately to the advantage of your wallet as a buyer or a seller.